Hi, I'm Eric from Ion Software and in this beginner's tutorial you will learn how to set up a basic 3D composite. We start with this shot which was courteously provided by Freiraum FX so if you want to get in contact with those guys and say thank you for the footage go to www.freiraumeffects.com So as we can see here this is a time-lapse shot of a city and we want to introduce some camera movement. The easiest way to do that is of course to just add an image plane and connect our sky plate to that image plane, view it in our 3D space, add a standard camera, connect the two outputs to merge that together and by default our camera is located at the world origin as is the image plane. This is why we don't see anything. So let's view this in our second view, switch it to perspective, take our camera and move it out in Z. Actually something like yeah, 1.5, 1.6 should be sufficient. And of course now we can go and animate our camera. So I want to start from here. Actually let me switch on my guides here, so I right click and say show guides. So now where my image actually starts and ends. Well, let me move my camera up a little bit, like so, so that it lines up there with my guides. Right click on the Y offset button and select animate. And then say after 50 frames, I want my camera to be somewhere down here. So that would be our first animation here. However, we want to introduce some parallax to the shot to make it more interesting. Switch off our left view and go back to our original image. So what I want to do is I want to move the skyscraper a little bit more to the foreground to get that parallax I'm looking for. To do that I add a matte control tool like so and on the matte control tool I add a polygon mask which I connect to the garbage mat input. To get this pop-up menu just hold down the control key. And let's draw our mask here. So cutting out the skyscraper here roughly just adding mask points. Well, and since it's notoriously boring to watch somebody drawing masks, let's skip forward a little bit because I already created the mask in advance. So here we go with our mask for the skyscraper. And on my matte control tool, I select invert garbage mat and multiply garbage mat. So I end up with a nice alpha channel and a black background for my building here. Next thing I want to do is just put it on a second image plane. So again, I hit control space, type image plane, connect that up. So that's our skyscraper. And then I combine that with our original scene. So here are my two image planes. This one also goes into the merge and right click where it says camera and switch to perspective. Well now of course both image planes are at the same location and I want to move my skyscraper a bit a little bit further out. So I can do that either in the view like so or go to my 3D widgets here and uh, move that out. If you want to do subtle adjustments again hold down the control key to move your sliders at a slower speed. Actually let me watch through my camera here like so. Well as you can see here the uh, original skyscraper is still in the background so we just do a subtle X movement here until both of them overlap and if I watch my camera motion now you see that I actually have some very nice parallax here going on which helps for the overall idea that this was a real camera move. 
In the next part of this tutorial, I will show you how to spice this up even more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.